Market set to rally this morning. Here's what you need to know before the bell. Yesterday, Jerome Powell gave his speech in Sweden, of course, everybody anticipating that speech, thinking he was going to talk about monetary policy, higher rates, markets traded down early in the morning, came out actually a nothing burger of that speech. Markets did rally back up through the rest of the day yesterday, challenging the 50-day moving average. And now we're back at a level here of pretty decent resistance. Again, we have this cluster of moving averages that the market is dealing with right now, but also we have a, a just a lot of resistance of previous tops and bottoms going all the way back here to basically mid-August, September uh, in the markets. And of course, markets have really not done a whole lot here over the last really couple of months. Just been a big kind of volatile trading range. Uh, markets are establishing a higher low. Now, this is kind of a good sign here. Again, markets performing a little bit more bullishly triggering that MACD buy signal that we've talked about before. That's been a very important indicator for increasing or reducing risk in portfolios. So we have right now a couple of good kind of bullish setups here to add some exposure to portfolios. We started a little bit of that yesterday. We'll probably do some more today in our portfolios. The first big challenge is going to come right at about 4,000 on the S&P 500 index. That's where we have this downtrend of the market from the January highs of last year, as well as the 200 day moving average. So upside here is not a lot, but there is potential here for the markets to rally. However, pay attention to this consolidation range that is occurring uh, within the markets. This very tight pattern here is starting to condense. And if the market can break above this level, it would provide a fairly bullish lift to markets. We could see a fairly strong rally uh, to 4,200, 4,300 in the markets. And that wouldn't be surprising here, given some of the setup that we're seeing kind of happening across the markets. Now, uh, of course, if the markets do break to the downside, that's going to be a different story. And what you're going to need for that, of course, is a much more hawkish Fed, higher inflation, uh, something or, or really just very disappointing earnings season, which we're about to get into starting next week. So there's certainly some risk both up and down here. So be cautious about how you're positioning your portfolio. Again, I don't really have an idea of which way this is going to go, but there are certainly some bullish setups here right now in the very short term from a trading perspective that does suggest some higher prices. One of the things to keep a watch on right now, of course, is the dollar. That's really going to be the defining factor here about what happens with markets here over the course of the next few weeks. And just a quick note on this. The U.S. dollar has come under some pressure after a massive run back in 2021. And we had talked about why the dollar would be stronger last year. And we had talked about right at the end of last year why the dollar would get weaker here, at least short term just because it had gotten so out of balance relative to foreign currencies. Uh, that correction has happened here, and we're now challenging these previous tops going back to May of 2020. So there is some, some support here for the dollar. Uh, the dollar is extremely oversold here. So seeing a counter trend rally in the dollar would not be surprising. That would most likely pressure commodities and particularly oil, gold, those type of things. You probably want to consider taking some profits out of oil and gold and, and commodities in general, particularly if that dollar rally does commence. I'm Lance Roberts, and that's what you need to know before the bell.